Hello Linux fans and welcome to another edition of Distro Flash where we take a look at Linux operating systems in 5 minutes or less. And today's video is Netrunner 1803. ever trying Netrunner and so far the experience has been a good one. In keeping with the Distro Flash 5 minute time limit we're going to jump right over to the Netrunner website and take a look here at 1803 Eidolon. Um, if you're looking for a Debian based pack or Debian based distribution with the latest and greatest from KDE this is certainly one that I would say to add to your list. Now they have another version which is an Arch slash Majaro based version and that's a rolling release whereas this is um, more of their core desktop version. So you're going to see KDE Plasma 512 with a QT of 5.9 and a recent kernel here at 4.14 and we're looking at Firefox Quantum 5801 as well as LibreOffice 6. Um, you're going to pull in your packages here from Debian's uh, test repo. Now what you will not find in the selection of software here is um, anything that's proprietary. It's all free and open here. Just want to point out a few interesting things. By default you had uBlock set up under Firefox. Uh, so found that interesting. And we'll jump over and look at a few other things that were somewhat surprising to me. I did not expect to see what they call simple menu in place. Typically you're going to find one of the three other alternatives which is application dashboard, launcher, or menu. And application menu is my favorite. But simple menu isn't bad. Uh, so we'll go into that. You've got your main categories on the right here and as you scroll the icons will populate. You've got quick search and you can log out, shut down, so on and so forth. The other surprise, uh, don't always see this, which is a terminal drop down from the top kind of nice and then you had a quick link here for setting up your network attached storage there's no welcome screen or anything like that that you'll be presented with I particularly like the new sliders within KDE I think this is KDE um, the way it's themed everything's kinda large but uh, I like the individual sliders it's easy to see exactly what you're adjusting and since is this is the latest version of KDE I've kinda run through because I'm running as my daily driver Linux Mint, um, it was nice to see this. So, in keeping with the five minute time limit, I'm just going to kind of pop through a few things here. Uh, typical file explorer, which is Dolphin, which is phenomenal as far as file managers go. And let's quickly go through and look at some of the surprises in the software. So you're going to use Discover for your application management and updates. No surprises there. But you also have Synaptic Package Manager if you prefer that. Moving on down under Multimedia, Caden Live and Voco Screen were already set up. And so for someone who records a lot of videos, it was awesome to see that. Saves me some time. Under Utilities, you're also going to see SUSE Studio Image Writer for burning your ISOs uh, over to USB Flash. So and it's always been a very nice piece of software and then under games here's another one for you steam is already set up now I can't attest as to how well that runs I don't have a steam account but it's here and in place for you to try and then you've got a few other games in place so overall it's a fairly light package with the exception of more games than I expected to see um, it's been very snappy the only negative that I can throw out is that the font rendering is not on par with say Linux Mint or Ubuntu but other than that I think it's certainly a viable uh, option for you if you like Debian based distros and you want the latest and greatest in KDE as always thanks for watching